हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर रमन डुंगेल सेकंड ईयर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट रेजिडेंट एट बीपीआईएचएस धरान आई प्रेजेंटेड एन ओरल प्रेजेंटेशन इंटाइटल्ड द क्वाड हेलिक्स अप्लायंस एन इफेक्टिव ऑर्थोडोंटिक टूल फॉर मैक्सिलरी एक्सपेंशन अ केस रिपोर्ट एट द 24th एनुअल डेंटल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ नेपाल डेंटल एसोसिएशन एट विराटनगर नेपाल आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग हियर द सेम Crowding of the dental arch may be the result of excessively large teeth, excessively small bony bases of the jaws, and a combination of large teeth and small jaws. Arch expansion is one of the many methods to relieve crowding. In quad helix appliance, it is a slow maxillary expansion appliance that can effectively relieve mild to moderate crowding. Let's uh, go through a brief history of the quad helix appliance. The quad helix, in its present form, has undergone various modifications since the palatal expansion loop developed by Coffin in 1969, which was incorporated in a vulcanite plate. Later, Ricketts used a fixed W appliance to expand the collapsed maxillary arches in cleft palate patients. Further modification of the W arch fixed W appliance was done with incorporation of two posterior helices, two posterior loops uh, for a greater range of force. And after further modification, two anterior helices were added. Ricketts described the quad helix in its present form in 1975. The appliance consists of two anterior helices. and two posterior helices anterior breeze connects the two anterior helices and the two posterior breezes connect posterior and anterior helices of each side each helix adds 25 mm length of wire and provides a gentler continuous force and a greater range of activation the appliance is either soldered to the molar bands which may be permanent molar or deciduous molar or inserted into the lingual sheath of the molar band armamentarium which are required for the fabrication of quad helix include adams pliers and yogs universal plier a three prong pliers molar bands heavy wire cutter and 0.038 inch diameter or 0.975 mm diameter stainless steel wire and soldering kit three prong pliers is used for adaptation of the outer arm as well as for activation an activation can be done intraorally as well as extraorally initial activation of 8 mm before cementation it creates 14 ounces of force or 400 gram of force the different type of adjustments or activations which can be done on a quad helix are as per the diagram one on the anterior bridge two on the posterior bridge three on the outer arms and four on the posterior helix anterior adjustment is indicated by number 1 in the figure keeping the single beak of the three, three prong plier anteriorly it produces expansion in the posterior molar area if we use the single beak of the three prong plier in the anterior part and press it the molar bands will go out it will cause mesial rotation of the molar mesio palatal rotation of the molar as well as increased in the intermolar width and this expansion activates on the molar tends to move this molar in the mesial rotation and that should be corrected by activation number 2 in the posterior bridge uh, keeping the single prong of the three prong plier towards the mesial aspect it restores the distal rotation of the molar so first activation on the anterior bridge and then on the posterior it expands the arch as well as corrects the molar rotation 
lateral adjustment at level 2 expands and rotates the molar on the activated side the molar on the opposite side is distalized if we do the activation on the posterior bridge on the left side as in this figure is shown it will have a distalization effect on other side molar provided that the outer arms should not touch the premolars the outer arms should be free of these premolars and this molar will get distalized once the activation is done if we don't want the distalization the outer arms should touch the premolars uh, similarly activation on the buccal arm expands the canine and premolars and when held away from the teeth this uh, allows the molar to rotate and extra oral activation in the distal loop gives expansion to the buccal arms the quadrilateral appliance it is indicated in collapsed maxillary arch in cleft as well as non cleft patients in cases of unilateral and bilateral posterior cross bite and for derotation and distalization of the maxillary molars and the expansion is done until the occlusal aspect of the maxillary lingual cusp contact with the occlusal slope of the mandibular buccal cusp bilaterally in centric relation 2 to 3 mm over correction is recommended to compensate for operating the buccally tip teeth once retention is discontinued and how it is done it is maintained in the expanded but passive position for a 6 week period after the adequate expansion is achieved the advantages of quadrilateral appliances it is easy to fabricate it is simple in design it does not require any patient compliance tolerated well there is no difficulty in speech and the most important one it can be used simultaneously with fixed appliance therapy and the possible complications after the use of quadrilateral appliances are excessive dental tipping ulcerations at the area of the helix on palate and tongue loosening of the molar bands and breakage of the appliance at the shoulder joint coming to our case proper a 17 year male presented with a class 2 division 2 malocclusion with deep bite a convex profile with skeletal class 2 pattern was seen anb angle was 6 degrees skeletal class 2 and mild mandibular retrognathism was present upper incisors were retroclined and lower incisors were proclined there was a history of similar malocclusion in mother elder sister and younger sister these are his intraoral photographs and interpalatal molar width was reduced to 30 mm with moderate crowding of 9 mm in the upper arch and 3 mm crowding in the lower arch molar and canine relation was a class 2 bilaterally and incisor relation was class 2 as well average overjet was 2.5 mm and average overbite was increased 7 mm orthopantomogram shows all the permanent tooth were present and third molars were still developing lateral cephalogram shows uh, cvm cervical vertebrae maturation stage 4 SNA 80 degree SNB 74 degree ANB 6 degree Frankfurt mandibular angle 17 degree and upper incisor to NA value is 12 degree and linear measurement is 1 mm indicating that upper incisors are retroclined incisor mandibular plane angle is 96 degree suggestive of proclined lower incisors retroclined upper and proclined lower incisors diagnosis of skeletal class 2 anb 6 degrees was made with horizontal growth pattern and dental diagnosis of angles class 2 division 2 malocclusion we started the treatment on march 12 2024 upper arch was bonded 12 was excluded and upper arch was bonded bonded and quad helix was simultaneously cemented also for the initial alignment and leveling 
we can see that bilaterally the molar relation is class 2 at present. After 9 weeks of treatment on May 19, 2024, space was sufficient for 1, 2. So, 1, 2 was also bonded and further activation of the squared helix was done on the anterior bridge and posterior bridge. You can see more pronounced angulation at the anterior and posterior bridge. And after 6 months into treatment, on 4th September 2024, the quad helix appliance was removed and we can see good alignment from class 2 molar relation. It has become end on molar relation bilaterally and lower arch was bonded uh, at the time of 4 months into treatment and after 2 months it is almost aligned. Uh, 4 2 will be bonded on the next appointment and on assessment of pretreatment molar relation molar rotation both 1 6 and 2 6 are mesiopalatally rotated according to Ricketts a line drawn from tips of the distobuccal and mesiolingual cusp tip of the upper molar it should transect the distal third of the canine of the opposite side and after correction we can see that it transects the distal third of canine of the opposite side so molar rotation has also been corrected in conclusion quad helix is an easy to fabricate appliance used for maxillary expansion slow maxillary expansion molar derotation and to correct functional posterior cross bite in a short duration of time with minimal patient discomfort patient can easily tolerate the appliance if you have got any queries about this case and the quad helix appliance feel free to comment below thank you for subscribing the channel see you again in the next video thank you